Hello everyone and welcome to another Smart Arts What's in the Box. My name is Jake and today I will be going over what is in April's Smart Art Box. We got some really cool stuff this month, so let's hop down below and see what we got. Alright, so like always, you will open up your box to the Smart Art brochure. Opening this up, you will see the history of what you'll be working with, as well as a list of all the products in this month's box. Flipping to the next page, you will be presented with the project pointers to help achieve the best results possible this month, as well as your weekly challenge prompts to complete for your peacock points. Now this month is going to be a little bit different with your guides. Since this month is focusing on calligraphy, the quick start guide is going to help show you the techniques on how to properly do calligraphy. Flipping through the quick start guide, you will see different ways to really get a strong idea on how to do basic lettering. Flipping to the skill challenge guide, you will see how to use what you learned in the quick start guide to string letters together to make full words and sentences. Setting that aside though, the first thing out of this box is the set of a three acrylic inks. These are highly pigmented and really vivid and dry with a water resistant result. The inks in this work great on many surfaces and have many applications such as brushes, pens, airbrushes, and more. The next thing out of this box is a set of three Royal and Langnickel brushes. These super durable brushes will help you achieve great results in combination with the acrylic inks in this box. They have a very fine tip and edge that will endure any abuse that you put them through to help you get amazing results through this entire month. And the next product out of this box is the Spectrum Noir Metallic Markers. These dual tip markers will help you apply very reflective and beautiful finishes to your work. The ink in these work really well on dark and light papers, vellum, metals, ceramics, and more. The inks in this are water soluble, so you can apply these in many different ways to move them around like watercolors, but become permanent once they are dry. Next out of this box is the Faberino Dotted Notebooks. These notebooks work great for writing and drafting with pencil, pens, markers, and more. It features 90 sheets of dotted paper that will help you with hand lettering and calligraphy you may do this month. And the last thing out of this box is the bonus item, the Stonehenge Black Watercolor Paper. The dark watercolor paper will work amazing with the inks and pens that come in this month's box and will help create a beautiful contrast in your work. And of course we can't forget about our candy and sticker to finish off the box, but let's get all this set up and get things going into our final piece. So when I was coming up with the idea for this piece, I decided to go with one of my favorite quotes. I thought this would be a fun idea to work with since another thing I love to paint is eyes. To get my idea down on the paper, I quickly sketched it in the dotted paper, and once I got the sizing and the word placement where I wanted it to be, I just redrew it all on the black paper with a white pencil. Now I don't normally claim to be a very good calligrapher but I was actually really happy with how the lettering turned out in this piece. These pens definitely helped with getting great results as well. The pens were super flexible and were super pigmented, so the strokes always seem to have more than enough ink without having any dry spots. When it came to the eye, I basically just slowly built up colors using the inks until I was happy with how the base color was. Once I had the base colors down that I wanted, I would then come in with the super rich pens to make the final lines and shading. But I'm going to be quiet and let you guys enjoy the rest of this, and I will see you guys at the end with the final results.
All right, everyone, that is everything in April's Smart Art Box. These materials were a lot of fun to work with, but now it's your turn to see what you can create using the materials in this box. Now remember to check out the weekly prompts in your brochure, as well as check out the videos each week where I try to tackle these challenges myself. Complete all four of the weekly challenge prompts and post them using the hashtag SmartArtWeekly and SmartArtProject to get your five hundred peacock points also if you haven't yet make sure to check out these smart art bundles where each box focuses on a very specific set of materials if you want more information on that make sure you go check out the smart art web page so make sure you subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss videos like this one and if you like my work make sure to check me out over my personal channel over at naughty egg draw the link is going to be down in the description but that is all for today, everyone, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!